watching Kashmir News Bureau. I'm Kaisadar. Here goes the stories of the day. At least a hundred people, including 13 United States soldiers, were killed in several attacks in Kabul, Afghanistan. The death toll keeps rising after the attacks carried out by two suicide bombers and a gunman left a number of people dead and injured as well outside the Hamid Karzai International Airport in the capital of Afghanistan, Kabul. The Islamic State group, which is said to be far more radical than the Taliban, claimed the responsibility for the killings on its as-reported Amak News channel. Moreover, as we have learned, the stakeholders were warned about the attack before it took place and accordingly Afghanis trying to flee the country were urged to leave the airport as well. The Taliban has condemned the attacks which left around 100 people dead including 13 United States troops and around 140 people wounded. Rivers, while addressing the world from the White House, United States President Joe Biden pledged to retaliate against the attack carried out by the Islamic State in Khorasan province said to be an offshoot of the ISIS. Joe Biden said that he will hunt them down and make them pay. Devotees miffed over closing of Hazrat Bull Shrine, missing out on Friday prayers. Devotees visiting Hazrat Bull Shrine, locally known as Darga, expressed their dissatisfaction with the Jammu and Kashmir administration's decision on closing of the shrine, which prevents them from offering Friday congregational prayers. The devotees, including men, women and children outside the Hazrat Bull Shrine, raised their voice against keeping the shrine closed and said that they come from far-flung areas in hope of just offering Friday prayers. They said that the administration should apprise them through radio or social media that Friday prayers will not be allowed at Hazrat Bull Shrine or other religious places so that they can calibrate their plans accordingly. They also said whatever the situation is, the devotees should be allowed to pray at Dargah as it is equal to holy pilgrimage for them. Jammu and Kashmir police arrest Sarpanch after recovering cannabis from his possession. Jammu and Kashmir police today said in Rajori district of Jammu, a Sarpanch was arrested with cannabis in his possession. 750 grams of cannabis as per police was recovered from the Sarpanch's possession who was identified as Liaquat. Officials confirmed that after the arrest of the accused, a case was registered against him under the sections of NDPS Act. Five people killed, several trucks set on fire in Assam. Allegedly, members of the rebel group, the Masa National Liberation Army, has killed five people and around seven trucks were set ablaze in Assam's Dima Hassau district. As per police officials, the rebels fired several rounds at the truck drivers and other people before setting their trucks on fire. Reportedly, these trucks were carrying coal and other material for a nearby cement manufacturing plant. Officials said that a police and army's Assam Rifles Unit has taken up a massive operation in the region and an investigation has been initiated as well. Fierce fire kills 15 people in Karachi, Pakistan. At least 15 people have lost their lives after a massive fire broke out at a factory in Mehran town of Karachi in Pakistan. The fire broke out today at a chemical factory located in the town and reportedly around 25 missing people are believed to be trapped in the building as rescue operations are still going on. Earlier officials said that 15 bodies have been recovered from the factory so far. Director Sports Ghazan for Ali flags off contingent for Ske Martial Art Camp. Director Youth Services and Sports Jammu and Kashmir Ghazan for Ali today flagged off a contingent comprising of boys and girls for Ske Martial Art Training Camp, which is going to be held at Dodpatri in Badgam district up to 30th of this month. The contingent was flagged off from the premises of the youth hostel. And before flagging off the contingent of trainees, Director Sports interacted with the camp participants and passed on some valuable tips to them. Well, that's it for the day. For detailed stories, visit our website kashminnewsbureau.com and for quick news, follow us on social media platforms. Goodbye.